Hello everyone, it's Gumrath here, and today we're going to take an in-depth look at the Battle Pet ability Decoy. Now you may think that you understand most things about this spell, but over the next couple of minutes I'm going to walk you through the ins and outs of the move. Let's talk briefly about the word spell. I'm going to shift between calling it a spell, a skill, a talent, a move, an ability, um, just so that I don't have to say ability a million times throughout this. Okay. So decoy blocks two attacks. Most decoys use in the or most decoy users in the game have high speed and use decoy to block big attacks. They kind of use it like a rabbit's dodge. I'm talking wind ups, deep breath, barrel toss, and uh, many other abilities like that. It's what makes the NPD and other uh, decoy users so very useful in PvP. It's the team wide shield that blocks a variety of different spells. What does it take to break a decoy in one turn? Now this is actually a much more complicated question than you might think. Right off the bat, you probably know that barrage spells can break a decoy in one turn. I'm talking both kinds. Uh, did you even know that there was two kinds of barrage spells? Well, there are two different families of barrage attacks. Those that have an 80% hit chance and those that have a 50% hit chance. The 80% hit chance spells are as follows. Bone barrage, nut barrage, and make it rain from little bling. Each of these spells hits three times, and then leaves a damage over time spell on the target for four turns. This means that one usage of Bone Barrage, you will 100% of the time break the decoy and still have a chance to hit the decoy user or the target at least once, as well as applying the dot. Now, the 50% hit chance group is slightly larger. It has Egg Barrage, Banana Barrage, Rock Barrage, as well as Mothballs. Now, Mothballs doesn't leave a dot, but it is a 50% hit chance multi-hit move that does break decoy. The dots from the 50% hit chance leave a three round dot rather than a four round dot. Now, does hit chance even matter when going up against a decoy? Uh, actually, no, it doesn't. You can have a negative 200% hit chance and still hit the decoy every time. If you use Blinding Poison on a Nocturnal Strike user and he has a minus 100% 50 hit chance, he will still hit the decoy with his Nocturnal Strike. This applies for all barrage moves as well that we talked about earlier, even under blinds uh, that will still break decoys and bubbles. Uh, they won't hit the decoy user unless it's Bone Barrage ability. There's something in the script of Bone Barrage that actually makes it hit both the target and the decoy even when completely blinded. Uh, that's a good tip if you are ever going against a Rosa Taipan or the Death Adder Hatchling. Now, uh, enough with Barrage, let's talk about AoEs. You think that all AoEs would break a decoy if there's more than one enemy pet on the battlefield. Well, you'd actually be wrong. Most AoEs will break a decoy in one turn, but not all. Here's a list of the ones that actually do. Keep in mind, there must be at least two pets on the battlefield, uh, or two targets, in order for this these abilities to break decoy in one turn. The first one is Bone, bone Storm, Moon Tears, Sunlight, Quake, Titanic Tantrum and Acid Rain. Each of the, these abilities will one-shot a decoy and even hit one pet if there are three targets. There's also Magma Wave and Tidal Wave, but I'll talk about those a little bit later. Um, now, the ones that do not break a decoy, those AoEs, it's kind of interesting. Any spell that reads uh, evenly split damage on the enemy team will not one-shot an ability. These are abilities like Whirlwind, Arcane Storm, Avalanche, Carpnado, and etc. There is something in the coding of these spells that even if there are three enemy pets on the battlefield, it will not break the decoy in one hit. Um, so it just holds true that every pet that is scripted split evenly damage uh, will not one-shot decoys. Now, Let's talk about dots. <laughs> okay, This is actually kind of a complicated answer. Uh, I don't I'm not 100% sure I figured everything out about it. I've done pretty extensive testing, but we'll focus on what I know for sure. So most dots will not actually break a decoy or take away charges from a decoy. Uh, you can burn an MPD. He'll throw up his decoy. After he's been hit with a dot, it'll tick for full damage, and it will have no effect on the decoy. Uh, Haunt is in the exact same boat as this. And it holds true for almost all dots that are applied before decoy is used. They will not consume decoy charges. Now, one dot that is a little bit different um, is Death and Decay. 
because if you throw death and decay down before a decoy goes up the death and decay damage it does consume decoy charges this is good to know because every time you see a decoy thrown up you want to take that thing down as fast as possible now there's another common dot especially that you see in pvp that doesn't apply it's the curse of doom um it's very very popular in the meta right now but it behaves much more like a trap than a dot uh, its damage is blocked by decoy and uh, it can also be dodged now this is very similar to spells like whirlpool ice tome or ice tomb and elementium bolt uh, two other dots that do affect decoy are dots left by Barrage spells as well as Cyclone if that is cast before a decoy is used. Now I'm not sure what to call Cyclone, whether it's a dot or a weather effect, I don't know. So we'll just we'll just leave it at that. Uh, and that it does consume charges of decoy. Now, will a multi-hit move break decoy? Actually no, in fact most multi-hit attacks like Tongue Lash, Blitz, Thrash, and Batter will not break a decoy in one turn even if you are faster than the decoy user. So far, the only attack that will always break a decoy that is a multi-hit move besides these barrages is Flurry, and only if the user is faster than the person behind the decoy. Other multi-hit moves will break decoys, such as all the moves that apply Shattered Defense. I'm talking Stampede, Hunting Party, Flock, Dead Man's Party, Falcosaur Swarm, and whatever the one that Little Bling has. Uh, other multi-hit moves that will one-shot a decoy, alert from the alarmo block, uh, skittering spiders, um, and then there's a few that actually hit twice under certain conditions. Like the spell light from the Nordestral Wisp will hit twice if the target is considered blind. This could simply be from darkness being out, or you using the flash spell, or even a blinding poison. So light under these specific circumstances will one-shot a decoy. Uh, the spell counter strike will one-shot a decoy if the user is attacked first. The same goes for the spell blast of hatred. Uh, puncture wounds will also, oh blast of hatred guys just if you didn't know is from hate spark the tiny. Now puncture wounds will also rake a decoy in one hit if the user is poisoned. Keep in mind that blind, blinding poison does count as a poison. Uh, it's good to know because if you like to run the Rosa type N or the Death Adder Hatchling, which are really popular in the meta right now, and you get a poison on like the NPD, because you will outspeed it, you can break the decoy in one hit. So, um, other moves that hit twice that is had actually a really confusing outcome is early advantage. Now, if you are lower health than the decoy user and you use early advantage, it will consume one charge of decoy. But the second hit from early advantage will hit the target uh, and damage it without consuming both charges. So, yeah, try to wrap your mind around that one. Uh, one last thing I want to mention is the critter move comeback. It's a move that hits twice if the user has lower health than the target. Um, if you use Perky, he's around 1300 health, which means if you play him into a decoy user uh, and they cast decoy first, he will always one-shot it. I'm hoping that this video will actually swing the meta and you see nothing but perkies because they are tier 1 decoy breakers and they've got a decent heal. Anyway, uh, another thing to note is uh, decoys do not stack. If your decoy has one charge and you switch into a second decoy user and you throw up his decoy before your first decoy is destroyed, you just wasted a cooldown. You did not refresh the decoy. Um, also, if you're a double decoy user, please do us all a favor and stop. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, there's a few other spells that destroy all objects on the field, like Magma Wave, Grave Destruction, and Clean Up. Now, each of these will break a decoy and one turn, um, but it's only the moves like Magma Wave and Tidal Wave that'll still hit a pet after the bre they break the decoy if there's three targets on the field. Um, I think that brings me to the end of what I learned about decoy. It's an ability that I kind of hate, but mostly, oh, part of the yawns, it's early in the morning because it's all over the board and it's not consistent of how to take it out. So I would stick with bone barrages, comebacks, um, just build teams that almost always have a decoy breaker because let's be honest, there is a lot of them right now. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope you found this useful and um, like if you did, subscribe for more content.
Well, it turns out, guys, there was actually a couple things that I forgot that I just want to tack on to the end here. Um, number one, if you throw rot on a target, this is from Linica. Um, if you throw rot on a target before they throw up a decoy, the transformation from whatever type of pet they are, most likely mechanical to undead, will consume rot or will consume charges. So rot is another good decoy breaker. Um, another thing I forgot to mention in the video was a buffed conflagrate. Like if you have scorched earth down and you use a conflagrate, it will not one shot a decoy. Same thing goes if you have arcane storm up or arcane winds. I forget what that's called, and you use a mana surge. That also will not one shot a decoy. And it turns out that Flory will always break decoy, even if you are slower than the decoy user. Now, as you'll see from this footage above, Takedown has the potential to one-shot a uh, decoy if the target behind it is stunned. And that specific situation is about the only time that I ever think that you could possibly use that. The last thing I wanted to mention, guys, is I could not have done this video without my boy Andre. Uh, we spent hours testing all this different stuff, and he was so useful, and he's such a smart guy. Um, check out his channel. I've got a link to it in the description below, and we will have a whole series on things you did not know about Pet Battle.